All right, Aries, happy birthday. It's Lulu, okay? And we are doing your love read for the week, but it could be something that unravels over the course of the next month or so. You may want to go back and listen to the previous reads. All right? Oh, it may not resonate at all, okay? Now then, it could be anyone close to you, because I did have a friendship read that came out in one of the reads here today. All right, so let's see what's going on. What are Aries' feelings towards this person? Chemistry, getting to know each other, cute, all right? This could be the one, so this may be someone that you just met. Honeymoon is under chemistry, what's under getting to know each other? True love is under that, and what is under this could be the one. Pay attention to the red flags, all right? So before you go another further, it's going to be important that you pay attention, okay? Before you jump in at Aries now. All right, so... The chemistry that you have with this person really has you head over heels, possibly. You may be feeling like you've never felt before, or it reminds you of the good feeling, right? What love feels like, right? And the more that this person reveals certain things to you, it's like, I could really love them. Look at Aries. And you may be in a space where they do a lot of the things that you like, um, they say a lot of the things that you like. It's just something about the way that they carry themselves really pushes you into a space where mm, I'm really like liking what I'm liking right here. But there's some type of red flag, something that is, has you, there's a caution sign, right? So let's see. What is this chemistry aside from the magnetic connection, right? Or the, just the sharing of an energy that you haven't felt in a long time, right? What is this chemistry and honeymoon for Aries? Maybe y'all took a trip together or you met them on a trip. Six of Wands. Y'all look good together, right? Or y'all compliment each other and people give you compliments. Because it's some, um, sometimes you can meet people where when y'all go places, people just want to talk to y'all because it's like, that just looks like the happiest couple. Like they got to be married. It's that kind of chemistry. All right? With that Six of Wands. What is this getting to know each other and this true love? Three of Pentacles. Y'all really work well together. Um, something that y'all put your mind to or something that y'all did together um, is really like, we didn't argue. We didn't fight. We didn't have any disagreements. Like, is this real? Because you may have walked away from a situation in the past that was just stagnant. It wasn't going nowhere. You were waiting for it to go somewhere. And it may not have had a lot of chemistry. All right. What is this? This could be the one and pay attention to the red flags. What they got to do with anything? Because you may have had a dream about this. The world. Maybe this person. Like, let's say, for instance, uh, the way that they handle the way that they they're maybe they state a lot of their views or opinions online maybe their social media what have you and it's kind of like okay i didn't know that now hold on i mean i like a lot of things about you the chemistry is there but what right maybe they travel a lot or something that um has to do with social media or the internet the way that they conduct themselves online what is this red flag that they're being cautioned about? Yep, Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. This is something that they do on a regular. They have may have strong opinions about um, environmentalism. They may have strong opinions that you may not agree with. The way that they express it is like they don't think it through. Maybe they don't give like discuss it with someone else before posting it or doing it or saying it. It's a say before saying it, right? Maybe they have, you know, different political views that you were like, I didn't know that that's why you felt that way about this politics. Like, whatever it is, it's like, it's a, a red flag for you. Yeah, the five of ones and the king of cups, they may get into an argument online or be competing with someone. And it's like, that is way out of their character. You weren't expecting for them to be that type of person or you didn't see that side of them based on, you know, the things that you've gone through with them in the recent past or how you've gotten to know them. And... With the way that, that came out, it's just like, what is going like what is going on? Because there may be that, you know, they are very competitive, 
they may even have certain viewpoints about relationships you didn't know and they're getting caught up in the the wheel um the hamster wheel of discussing relationships that people do online now <clears throat> excuse me what is going on i did a reads reading all right we're gonna get this out because it may be that what they are discussing relationships online that um has you taken aback it's like what they may get in the comments and argue with people that it's like why would you even argue with them like whatever it is it's really putting you off all right it doesn't have to necessarily be those things that i said all right what are this person's feelings towards aries worth waiting for flirt heart to heart conversations what comes under worth waiting for express your love what comes under flirt past life relationship what comes under heart to heart conversations deception all right so the way that this person feels views sees you or what have you they see you as someone who um, of course, believes in divine timing, but also um, you take your time when doing certain things. Um, when you express yourself, you may have expressed this to them here. Maybe I went out dancing. <sighs> Somebody from your past. They may even think that you flirt with people from your past. Okay, the same way you watching them, they watching you. A conversation that you had with them they feel like you're not telling the truth about something uh, you're being fake about something but let's see let's take our time here what is this worth waiting for that this person feels towards Aries please what is this worth waiting for that this person feels towards Aries page of wands I really feel like you communicated that with them it's like you're very passionate about timing they're very passionate about doing things at the right time or um they look at this as uh you have a creative viewpoint when it comes to expressing the, you may be very creative in the way that you express yourself right and they may not be used to that okay but let's see but they do wait for you to do that it does something for them all right it lights their fire They may think that you have a childlike imagination. What is this express your love that they feel towards Aries? Two of Wands. So you may have revealed to them about your plans for the future or the plans, the steps that you are taking here. Um, and you know what you've expressed what you want. You've expressed, you know, what you don't want. Uh, you've expressed a lot to them, and it's like you're still, maybe you're still, you know dating or deciding to um entertain but they still feel like something the page of pentacles in the reverse popped out flirty flirty uh flirty behavior when it comes to the way that you interact with people may be um this is how they see or feel but it's like the way that you interact or do things is kind of materialistic but it's like again two pages came out so they may be taking things um uh, this way when it comes to the way that you flirt and the way that you think or not necessarily think but like the way that you communicate the page of pentacles in the reverse you know that can be spending money on um things that make you more appeasing to the eye or the public or the a person when you flirt maybe the pictures that you post they see it in a um, they you may be it may be harmless but they see it as a problem okay what is this and they may have a conversation with you about it but they don't want to hear it because they feel like you're lying ain't nobody in your dms and you show them which i wouldn't do because i ain't gonna be proving nothing ain't nobody in my dms see right and it's like, yeah, 
ain't, ain't no way nobody's trying to hit on you. Like, what? Because you may have been single for a while or you carry yourself like you're single and that may be an issue. What is this heart-to-heart -heart conversation that uh, this person feels towards Aries? They gonna spark this conversation because it's like they wanna have this talk about your flirty ways or just the way that you present yourself may be flirty. So y'all got a conversation that's coming in and it really looks like you have your opinions and views about the way that they do stuff and then they have it something about the way that you dress or uh, present the way that, the presentation right or the way that what you do for work what is this past life relationship here that this person feels towards aries you've transformed since the last time they saw see you you've changed the old you is no longer present. Ten of Cups, you are happy. All right? You're surrounded by a lot of happiness. And that's why, like, I don't know why I feel like this person may be the type that is like, who made you happy? Why are you so bubbly? Or if it's a woman, oh, who's the bitch? <laughs> but it's like, why are you so happy? Why are you so this, that, and the other? Like, why isn't the stuff that used to work on you not working no more? You got to be lying about something. Because I think it's this, that, and the other. So maybe you're dealing with somebody highly opinionated. Let's see. What is this deception that this person feels towards Aries? Seven of Pentacles. They don't think that you're celibate. They don't think that you will, even if it's not celibate, see, it's like they think that you're lying about waiting for the something either the right person the right time why you're not doing something they think that you're wearing a mask when it comes to your plans you gotta have some plan i don't think you're telling me the truth five of swords on the cut and the eight of swords they think that you say stuff to keep them caught up in a certain way of viewing you but it's like you're presenting it to them like the truth is in their face, but they question the truth, right? What is this uh, Seven of Pentacles and this deception? Nine of Pentacles, they don't think that you're single or independent. They don't think that, you know, you're, um, you're lying about, I want to say balance with that Six of Pentacles, but I think that it's like with the Six of Pentacles, You tell them that you're okay. They don't think that you're okay. You tell them what you're doing. Do not like what you will and will not put up with. They don't think that that's true. They know you got a good heart, but it's crazy. Like, this is crazy. Let me get these other cards to see what's, let's clarify a different way for it. See if we pick up a different, some different information. Excuse me, y'all. What is this worth waiting for and express your love that they feel? The Knight of Wands. They feel like you're a go-getter. You are, you know, fiercely, um, uh, you are direct, but you are also fierce when it comes to your aim, right? But they may also think that you're a player again, right? But it's just that you like what you like. What is this flirt and past life relationship that they feel with Aries, the fool? Damn, man, the five of swords. I'm telling you, you are not who you were. Even if you've been knowing this person and they kind of look through your history on Instagram, Facebook, wherever your history would be, child, YouTube, wherever. Um, or they y'all know some of the same people. You're not who you were, but this person is like, they think that you, when you do stuff, when you do certain things, that you're playing mind games. There it is, that five of swords. What is this heart-to-heart -heart conversation and deception? Some of these cards flip. That's crazy. What is this heart-to-heart -heart conversations and deception? Ten of swords. 
they feel like if this comes out, it's going to be the end of y'all, King of Swords, because they really have a certain way of viewing things. And they don't like whatever you're telling them doesn't make isn't logical to them. So this is like crashing out with that Ten of Swords. Um, if they find out that you were lying about something, wearing a fake mask, it's not true what you said. It's not true about where you said you were, what you were doing, why you were doing it. It's like, ma'am, sir, calm the fuck down. Let me see here what this Ten of Swords is as far as action. They can't take it if it does come out that you were deceptive about something that y'all had a conversation about. That may be the, the final straw. Give me one more card. The Four of Pentacles. They're not telling you this, though. They're giving hints, but they're not telling you. But the, I feel like they will because they are very, like, whoever this is judges people by their past. They don't let them be who they are, how they've evolved. So 